On behalf of the USENIX Board of Directors, it is my great privilege and pleasure to present to the 2009 Software Tools Users Group Award. Today, computer users and programmers take data compression to be expected and normal. Our systems and applications perform compression and decompression without us even being aware that it has occurred. It is hard for many of us to believe that this was not always true. Some corporations, such as IBM and Unisys, considered data compression so important that they patented certain algorithms useful to the task. And by the mid to late 1980s, they began to look at those algorithms as technology that needed to be licensed or to be locked away and made available only to their customers. All of that changed on July 11, 1991, when the first version of a data compression algorithm developed by Jean-Luc Galli was made publicly available. Shortly thereafter, he was joined by Mark Adler, who was interested in zip-style utilities for use on his Unix-based systems. Mark describes their collaboration as one thing led to another. These simple but generous actions by Mark and Jean-Luc mean that the industry now uses their code and algorithm, as we noted, more often than not without knowing they're being used. John Loop continues to contend that he spent more time studying data compression patents than it took to write the implementation. Mark says his contributions are a thank you for all the other software he has benefited from. Whether for the time it took to discover how to create an open data compression algorithm or for their specific implementations, our community cannot thank John Loop and Mark enough for the gift they have given us all. The USENIX Association's 2009 Software Tool Users Group Award is our way of thanking them both. Please come up. I'm extremely honored to receive this award. Uh, <clears throat> I feel I've received much more from the open source community than I've given back to them. But uh, anyway, I'm still very glad. Thank you very much. Ditto.